my name is raman kumar biswas and welcome to my presentation terrestrial ecosystem collapse and soil erosion before the end permian marine extinction organic geochemical evidence from marine and non marine records my supervisor is honorable professor kunio kaiho sensei research highlights number 1 plant extinction was followed by soil erosion at the end permian marine extinction number 2 bacteria flourished during the plant extinction in the non marine section and number 3 bacteria flourished during the end permian marine extinction in the marine section and number 4 the proto recovery of vegetation coincided with global warming and oceanic eugenia so all the findings written in this thesis is going to be published in biswa settle 2020 in uh, press this is a global planetary and change so the below there is a snapshot of this paper uh, in in that journal so the citation is that acknowledgement i thank professor kunio kaiho sensei for his research design laboratory experiment reviewing overall guidelines and continuous support throughout my research journey i thank dr ryosuke saito dr thian li professor yasufumi iru sensei professor takeshi kakegawa sensei dr megumi fujibayashi sensei dr hideko Takayanegi Sensei, Dr. Noritoshi Suzuki Sensei, and all the technical staffs. Whenever I visited, they helped me. IGPS program for this funding at Tohoku University, and I express my deepest gratitude to my laboratory members and all well wishers. Introduction: The Permian Triassic mass extinction occurred approximately 252 million years ago and approximately 90% of marine species and 70% of terrestrial vertebrate eliminated there was a major loss of terrestrial flora mostly coinciding with n permian extinction of terrestrial and marine fauna the terrestrial devastation is demonstrated globally by mass disappearance of the type glossopteris n permian plant extinction and n permian terrestrial ecosystem devastation event eptd which occurred prior to the n permian extinction and the peak of volcanism paired coronin that is high temperature combustion proxy the mercury spikes as a refined proxy for large igneous province this lip emplacement indicate that discrete volcanic eruptions could have caused the terrestrial ecosystem crisis followed by marine ecosystem crisis the soil erosion event is demonstrated by high excursion of inorganic weathering indices that is chemical index of alteration cia plagioclase index of alteration and chemical index of weathering spanning the end permian plant extinction soil erosion at the end of the end permian terrestrial devastation impacted the marine ecosystem during the permian triassic transition the soil event the erosion event lead to an algal bloom the release of toxic component asphyxiation and oxygen depleted near shore bottom sea water which serve as environmental stress for near shore marine animals evidence from delta 18 oxygen value isotope value of conodon apatite in shangxi and meishan sections indicate a approximately 10 degree celsius increased in surface sea water across the end permian crisis yet the relationship of land plant devastation the ma the massive soil and rock erosion and the end permian extinction both in marine and non marine environment have not yet been uh, clarified hence i started i conducted this study 
Jaoben section, uh, this is the uh, non, uh, non marine brackish uh, onshore uh, lagoon uh, depositional setting. Here is the map of uh, bed 8 of volcanic ash contains the Kautium formation. I will explain the details later. So, this is the outcrop map of Jahuvian section. Shangxi, the self is uh, upper slope uh, depositional setting. This is uh, you can see the uh, pointer. So this is the map, and this is the field map outcrop. The mission is uh, uh, this is the um, Permian Triassic. This uh, uh, per global uh, Permian Triassic map. The red color indicates that our study section and the urban section, Eastern Paleothesis, and the green color indicates the um, uh, Sinahe section and the mission section also green color here. So this figure indicates the red this this red circle indicates that the urban section located here and shank section is there and the square green square the reference section chahe and the right corner upper right corner this emission sections so the triangle uh, the big city in this geological setting jahuban section is basically located in halahe town of gujar province uh, this is the normal section and the Permian Triassic stratigraphy of the Jahubian section contains Juanoi formation and overlain by the Kauti Kaitoi formation and again Dongsheng formation. The Juanoi formation is approximately 52 uh, meter thick and overlain by the uh, Kaitoi formation uh, and the Dongsheng formation has a some is uh, distinctive sedimentary uh, faces this is red to purple uh, color silt stone salner silt stone the method here uh, we uh, extracted uh, 50 sample from non marine jawaban section and 71 sample from the marine shankri sections so after the uh, Eliminate after the elimination of the after the washing uh, we cut the samples and prepare based on the laboratory experiment and found the kerosene uh, and from that kerosene we uh, separate uh, the kerosene into different uh, uh, to different uh, fragments like aliphatic hydrocarbon and uh, aromatic hydrocarbon so from that aliphatic and aromatic hydrocarbon uh, so from the gas chromatographic mass spectrometry uh, we found some biomarker chromatogram and that biomarker chromatogram we use some biomarker as in indices to interpret the uh, the, the paleo uh, environmental uh, events and uh, the, the biomarkers are the long chain n alkin the uh, n c27 plus c29 uh, divided by uh, short chain uh, C17 plus C19 plus C27 plus C20 as a proxy for the higher plant index as a uh, number 2 uh, the, the heptadecan uh, C17 divided by C14 C19 as a cyanobacterial proxy and uh, number 3 uh, dibenzofuran divided by fran 3 as a D, uh, DVF divided by fran 3 as a soil erosion index and number 4 the Moriton and Hopan C30 Moriton divided by C30 Hopan ratio for the proxy of soil input and number 5 the Hopan statin index for the bacteria and eukaryotes. So this value indicates the uh, the increase of uh, so ratio indicates the uh, dominance of bacteria and uh, the, the stress environmental index C32 methyl Hopan index. Uh, and there is the formula. Uh, so we use C32 divided by C31 and C32 12 for methane open for to establish uh, uh, this index indices. Isolinate and divided by TOC. Uh, this is the mass fragment and of, uh, of uh, 134. This is the proxy for photogenic genia. So here is the chromatogram of uh, the um, obtained from the gas chromatography mass spectrometry. So uh, we uh, found the enalkane. Uh, this is the mass fragment based on the mass uh, uh, mass fragment ion 57. So here is the distribution of the short chain enalkane to the uh, long chain enalkane C33 and piston phyton peak is also there. So another uh, the c32 to uh, 2 methyl hopan this is the um, this is obtained from the mrm transitional method method and the range is 400 uh, 42 205 
and the retention time is there C31 as an open uh, 200 um, 426 to 191 this is the mass fragment as uh, so a transition uh, uh, to obtain this and the retention time is there so I saw in a return this is uh, the proxy for photogen eugenia and found in the chromatogram uh, by mass fragment and 133 and 134 uh, the C30 alpha beta open uh, and uh, this is the um, um, uh, in uh, this index uh, the for the divided uh, index for the soil duration index uh, divided by c30 beta alpha moritan so alpha beta and uh, um, this is the isomers of this uh, uh, molecules and the, it indicates the position of this uh, uh, position stereochemistry uh, the configuration so here uh, another uh, some isomers of stratin and hopan uh, that is C29 stearin is obtained from mass fragment uh, transition is 400 to 200 uh, 217 um, and hopan uh, with the uh, mass fragment transition MRM transition is 426 to 191 so these are the biomarkers that we used uh, to identify the paleo environmental events environmental events at Jahubian sections and uh, the terrestrial plant index, uh, this is uh, the ratio of C27 uh, plus C29 divided by C17 plus 19 plus C27 uh, plus C29. So um, this value indicates, uh, this value indicates the, uh, the high value uh, before the C level C and gradually decline at C uh, and further decline at D and there is a uh, uh, the value almost zero after the uh, after the uh, bed number uh, is 12 so this indicates the devastation of terrestrial plant at uh, which initiated at the sea level c and uh, another and followed by the uh, terrestrial devastation uh, at the sea uh, level d and uh, here is uh, the um, the uh, aquatic algae abundance so this is the um, uh, amount of short chain enalkane. Uh, this is the unit is enalkane by TOC. This is nanogram by gram per uh, so weight percentage. So uh, the, the, these two, another is higher plant abundance. This is the amount. So this two uh, abundance amount of enalkane. So short chain and long chain. So this uh, similar pattern indicates indicates there is no input of no additional input of a short chain enalkane in this terrestrial plant index so this event is a real event which does not uh, affected by any other uh, incorporation of short chain uh, algae or, bac or bacteria so here the algae or bacteria uh, the mosses uh, this is the uh, we the distinct we distinguish already i explained before the uh, we distinguish uh, plant type like type 1, type 2, type 3 uh, based on the enalkane distribution C. Uh, the short chain is uh, range from C14 to uh, C19. Uh, C uh, the plant type we derived from the algae bacteria. The mosses type 2 and uh, this is the uh, enalkane range from C19 to 2025. 20, and the vascular pl pl uh, plants uh, this is the uh, range from c26 to uh, 33 this is the um, uh, vascular plant this is, so this also indicates uh, this the value is uh, high, higher before the c level c uh, this value also indicates um, the uh, devastation of terrestrial plant occurred at the um, c level uh, at the c level d and uh, before the end permian extinction the cyanobacterial proxy uh, this is the heptadecan c uh, divided by short chain enalkan so this indicates the cyanobacteria was uh, uh, flourished uh, um, cyanobacteria was flourished uh, during the uh, this uh, three value so this indicates that cyanobacteria was flourished during the terrestrial devastation event and the soil erosion event uh, the is indicated by the proxy dibenzofiron phenan 3 left and another is c33 uh, moritan uh, uh, sohopan uh, moritan divided by uh, sohopan so here so this indicates that uh, uh, the soil uh, this value are uh, increased uh, before the c level c and gradually uh, we found some four uh, five uh, 
distinctive high value 1 2 3 uh, 3 4 and 5 so this indicates the solution uh, distinctive separate solution event uh, 1 and 2 so solution event 2 uh, this uh, increased a uh, high value so this is consistent this coincidentally occurred at the CI level C and uh, the solution event uh, 3 uh, this is coincidentally occur with the CI level or the terrestrial devastation event CI level D uh, and another value is for um, so which is an also a uh, solution event and uh, next the bacteria as uh, an and as uh, an eukaryotic algae uh, this is the proxy uh, for the uh, bacterial algae the Hopan and Esterian index so this value is gradually uh, flattened then again increased uh, at the CI level uh, D uh, so which is consistent with the terrestrial devastation event uh, at the CI level C and during the terrestrial devastation at the CI level C so this further decline to uh, uh, this normal value so uh, from this figure we can say that the terrestrial devastation is coincided with the soil erosion event after uh, before the end permian extinction from this Jahubian Norman section this is the uh, figure uh, for uh, high resolution figure uh, for the uh, Shankar section uh, this uh, stratigraphic uh, this uh, biomarker distribution ranges from minus uh, 12 to uh, uh, three, uh, 10 so uh, this is the index for the soil erosion event so from this uh, curve we can say that the before the CI level C the value is high and gradually decline from the C and uh, further decline at the sea and then again uh, then almost uh, some, um, devastated and then again increased uh, during the proto recovery of the vegetation so this al also indicates that terrestrial devastation event uh, occurred at the sea level d which initiated at the sea level c the two uh, higher chain nlkn abundance this is the amount not the index this is another amount uh, of aquatic algae so these two as uh, amount of uh, or abundance of the short chain or long chain so the similar pattern indicates there is no influence of the marine algae uh, in this terrestrial plant index because um, these two patterns are such same uh, another the uh, here the algae or bacteria the same uh, same explanation like before so this indicates that terrestrial devastation event but here is some uh, one increased value and there is another increased value has the hair the short chain so uh, also this this short this small interval increased value is due to the uh, due to the input of soil erosion event because soil erosion event is coincided with this uh, ter terrestrial devastation so this is caused by the uh, short term interval this is caused by the uh, soil erosion um, uh, soil erosion input and uh, the, the CI level the before the CI level uh, before the CI level C and the carbon and nitrogen value uh, so the la land plant or marine algae uh, the index so this also indicate indicates that terrestrial devastation occurred at the CI level C cyanobacter proxy uh, cyan, uh, the, this is a hepatic uh, C17 divided by C14 to C short chain and alkane C19 and alkane. So these are consistently uh, occurred at the um, at the CI level D uh, during the terrestrial devastation event and during the terrestrial devastation at the CI level C. So uh, the soil erosion event um, in this Shangri section. Uh, C33 methyl uh, molytan divided by hopan. Uh, so these are there are five distinctive uh, soil erosion event one two three four five. So these are the uh, distinctive separate uh, soil erosion event uh, um, as as like as non marine Jaiban section. So uh, um, soil erosion event three indicate uh, is coincidentally occurred uh, with the uh, CI level D uh, so during the terrestrial devastation event um, at the CI level D. Here, uh, the bacteria or eukaryotic algae Hopan and Esterin. So, we know the bacteria is flourished uh, you know, when Hopan, uh, Hopan value is increased. So, this high value indicates the input of uh, bacteria or, uh, the, or uh, 
flourished of black bacteria. So uh, in the Shanks section, so now we found that before the CI level C, there are the flattened and in increased, the value increased at the CI level at the, um, uh, during the N Parman extinction event. So um, uh, after the terrestrial devastation event. Uh, the uh, stress environmental the this index the stress environmental index is uh, uh, stress environmental uh, um, the proxy that is the index is two metal open index so this shows uh, during this time uh, the, during the recovery the uh, the stress environment was uh, uh, developed uh, in the permanent in the uh, permanent Triassic mass ex for the permanent Triassic mass, ex mass extinction in young section and protic zone eugenia also uh, developed now during this time uh, with the global warming the isolated uh, divided by uh, TOC and the um, established and the previous static high hydrogen 2016 the isolated 2000 um, 50 uh, sorry uh, divided by uh, financing uh, so these are similar uh, consistent pattern uh, in this study. Here uh, I already explained in the previous slide uh, like minus uh, 10 to uh, 10 uh, in this range and uh, we found some incident uh, incident like uh, EPTD1 the terrestrial devastation and EPTD2 terrestrial devastation 2 and uh, which are consist uh, the terrestrial devastation 2 is uh, coincident uh, coincidentally occurred with the soil erosion event and the upper part <coughs> in in the sanctuary sun section my from um, uh, from the height 10 meter to uh, 80 meter so it uh, indicate uh, it shows that the global warming and the photic zone eugenia and um, and the stress environmental condition uh, developed uh, during uh, this time so during the recovery of the vegetations in this slide, uh, the comparison of uh, non-marine Javuban section and uh, the uh, marine uh, Shankri sections, the terrestrial and the plant index. So, in this uh, figure, <coughs> we <coughs> sorry, we can say the the similar uh, distribution of land plant devastation, uh, uh, which are in between uh, CI level C to D, uh, the CI level C to D. So these are uh, coincidentally occurred um, at the CIA level D and the um, soil erosion event uh, at the CIA, at the um, soil erosion event three. So the cyanobacteria is in a flourished uh, during uh, during the uh, terrestrial devastation event in in the in the range of uh, uh, C to D in this event. Also, uh, this value also increased uh, so in, during this time, terrestrial devastation at, at the CI level D, um, so before the end permanent extinction. The soil erosion event, uh, the proxy, uh, the index of the diabetes of the finan 3, uh, these are uh, five distinctive event like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. But these are the distinctive events, separate event. These are coincident with the soil erosion event 3 in the chunk section uh, coincident with the crystal devastation D. In the same way, the soil erosion event uh, 3 uh, coincidentally occur uh, with the terrestrial devastation event D in non-marine sections. The bacteria and eukaryotic, uh, eukaryotic as the, uh, the proxy and the bacteria flourished uh, during this time. Uh, in the non in the non-marine uh, non-marine section, the bacteria flourished uh, during the uh, so coincidentally occur with the uh, with the terrestrial devastation event, but um, in the shankri section, the, uh, the bacteria flourished after the terrestrial devastation coincidentally occur with the end permian extinction uh, event. So, uh, the comparison of the geochemical indicator of the uh, yeah, shankri section here is shown. The onset of the bacteria uh, vegetation collapse occurred before the end permian extinction in, in both sections the soil erosion event coincided with the extinction event uh, in both sections the um, here is the uh, comparison of uh, say marine uh, shangshi uh, and the non marine uh, jahogan sections uh, this uh, figure uh, the correlated the, the devastation event the vegetation is uh, uh, abundance, abundance uh, is vegetation uh, during before the CI level may be to C and uh, the here is also 
and is gradually uh, start to collapse at the C to D and uh, this yellow mark uh, indicates that a devastation of terrestrial plant and finally uh, collapse at the um, uh, here and again recovered in the Shangri in the Shangri section then uh, in the normal Zahuban uh, section collapse and um, persisted continues so <coughs> the solution event uh, is uh, the number one two three and four five so these are five distinctive uh, event so these are co uh, correlated uh, with this event and uh, these are uh, coincidentally occur with the negative excursion uh, so now of the carbon acetate pattern uh, with the terrestrial uh, devastation event at the C level D. So uh, the stress in environmental uh, condition persisted and the high temperature, the stress uh, and uh, eugenic condition developed uh, during the recovery of the uh, proto recovery of the vegetation in the Shangri sections. The vegetation, uh, the recovery of vegetation uh, in, in Shangri section is basically uh, not the woody, woody recovery but the, uh, but the uh, um, herbaceous recovery. So this recovery was basically the snapshot or disturbance uh, of, the, uh, of the final uh, woody recovery. So this is uh, the indica indication of the snapshot of the continue or progressive recovery uh, status for the final would recovery later 1.4 million years later so uh, recovery also uh, this uh, herbaceous recovery uh, did not prevented uh, even uh, this global warming and stress environmental condition in uh, south, uh, south china in shangri sections So uh, bacteria uh, these flourished uh, during this uh, terrestrial event uh, CI level uh, D uh, also here the comparison in the CI level D and cyanobacteria also you know, flourished in as uh, coincidentally occur uh, during uh, this terrestrial event uh, terrestrial event um, CI level D. Here and the final uh, the comparison with global comparison of the studied section here uh, we uh, compared globally with uh, marine and non-marine sections like Meishan, uh, Shangxi, uh, Chinahe and Zahuban sections. So the left side uh, is uh, showing the age, uh, the, the horizontal line shows the similar age uh, distribution and this age is uh, obtained from the zircon um, uranium late or acetyl uh, say 2014 so um, from this uh, carbon isotopic pattern so it shows the negative excursion happen, occurred in both the Meishan section and Shankar section uh, gradually declined at the CI, CI level E and this is the non-marine section and the CI level E so this uh, similar pattern uh, we have uh, correlated uh, so no, no, for based on based on the carbon acetic pattern here uh, this red color uh, the, the figure uh, curve indicates uh, the, the 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 distribution uh, the distribution of mercury uh, input the of uh, mercury input uh, uh, no, it's normalized by toc uh, this is the evidence of volcanism siberian trap eruption so siberian trap eruption is coincidentally occurred uh, with the negative excursion of the delta 13 organic isotope, uh, uh, negative negative is, uh, excursion of carbon isotope, and so um, these uh, these are also uh, coincidentally occur with the end permian extinction and the terrestrial devastation e event in this study. Uh, that uh, the terrestrial the terrestrial devastation is caused by the uh, Siberian trap eruption in uh, in our study uh, section. Um, but uh, the sulfuric, uh, the um, sulfur, the um, in incorporation of sulfuric acid as uh, might uh, cause uh, the uh, might be the cause another cause. But model shows that uh, the the um, the, the uh, sulfuric acid the concentration may, might be buffered, so it uh, doesn't have any effect. But in this uh, curve, it shows the. Uh, the distinct correlation so the Siberian trap eruption is the uh, cause of 
cyberin trypsin coincidentally occurred with the n permian extinction and uh, in the, um, the eptd n permian terrestrial devastation event too and here the species richness that is um, yes, marine invertebrates in so the uh, the decline trend indicates the marine extinction event of the of the submarine uh, some uh, summation and the shrunk sections here uh, the uh, the decline of uh, the species richness of uh, fossil uh, fossil percentage so this also uh, this also indicates the uh, um, reduction or um, the decline of terrestrial devastation uh, indicates indicates the um, terrestrial devastation uh, indicates the terrestrial devastation uh, in from the non marine uh, jahobian section uh, compared with non marine jahobian sections here uh, we uh, compared in our study uh, result the land uh, the land plant index event uh, land plant index uh, uh, and uh, uh, the, the reduction of the um, fossil species richness so coincidentally occurred so in the, it indicates that terrestrial devastation occurred coincidentally uh, with the um, uh, sea level d uh, so before the end part and extinction um, uh, some, uh, in this uh, study so uh, these uh, yellow color uh, in, uh, indicates the terrestrial devastation uh, the interval of terrestrial devastation uh, which initiated uh, at the eptd1 n permian terrestrial devastation 1 and uh, followed by the eptd2 before the n permian extinction uh, which are coincidentally uh, occurred with the solidation event and the proto recovery of the vegetation uh, the woody recovery uh, so was much later and uh, before that woody recovery the herbaceous uh, uh, some, uh, herb, uh, the herbaceous vegetation um, was uh, reco uh, recovered and uh, during uh, this recovery uh, vegetation recovery uh, the 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 global warming and the environmental stress did not prevent this recovery and the process so um, uh, uh, this duration of the c c to d is approximately 50 uh, um, kilo years so uh, these are the uh, findings here conclusion terrestrial ecosystem collapse was accompanied by a soil erosion event and was followed by n permian ex uh, marine extinction uh, the two separate events uh, devastated in terrestrial ecosystem prior to the uh, marine uh, extinction event even as uh, over a time span of dozens of uh, kilo years the bacteria flourished in, uh, in uh, non marine uh, section coeval with the decline of the uh, uh, decline in terrestrial plants and in the marine section during the end permian marine uh, extinction a uh, proto recovery of uh, herbaceous plant not woody, woody plants occurred dozens of kilo years after the end permian uh, marine extinction coincided with the global warming so thank you very much for the patience uh, hearing